This is Morgan with Morgan Burks Photography and today I'm going to show you how to use my Light and Tone 2 collection. So here we've got a photo that I've already um, sharpened and adjusted the coloring and now we're just going to add the products. So the first one I'm going to use is Faded Rainbow Ring and it's right here. Um, it looks a little bit transparent um, once you open it. I just opened it like a regular photo, went to File, Open, um, found it and there it is. So now I'm going to grab my Move tool click right on the image and you'll notice it moves around. You're just going to keep clicking your mouse and bring it up here to your image that you want to edit and then drop it on there when you see that square up here. And then from there you can place it pretty much anywhere you want. I'm going to kind of put it down here a little bit. That way makes it look like the sun cast it. Um, and then I'm going to put it in overlay mode. And it doesn't really change it too much, but it will if you lower the opacity and stuff. It just um, gives it a little bit more contrast. Um, I think it right now it's a little bit too sharp, so I'm going to blur it and it make it look a little bit more natural. And it's at 10 pixels, and I think that looks good. So I'm going to hit OK. And there we go. And then um, I'm also going to use Gleaming Light from the same collection, Light and Tone 2. And here it's hard to tell where it is, but once you move it over to your image the same way you did before, um, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. There it is. And um, I was, I'm going to put it over here over the rainbow area. You could flip it um, with Edit, Free Transform. I'm just going to transform and then hit Flip Horizontal. But um, I'm going to leave it over this rainbow. That way it looks like this part is lit up. Um, then I'm just going to put it in overlay mode. And here um, you can notice it reacts a little bit weird with her skin. I'm just going to turn it down a little bit and you can also mask it off as well. So um, I'll show you how to do that. Just come down here to the bottom of your layers panel, this rectangle with the circle inside. Click that. That adds a layer mask and that will help you. If it's white, the layer mask is white, that means that it's showing everything on this layer here. Um, so we're just going to paint with black to hide it. I'm probably going to hide it about 30% and um, just paint it over the area that you don't really like it on. Um, maybe here in the shadows. Just anywhere. You can play around with it and just see um, what you think. I'm going to leave it about like that. That's before and after. And you can turn it down a little bit more if you think that's too strong. It's up to you. Um, and then the next one I'm going to add is also from Light and Tone 2 and it's called Selen. And once again, grab your move tool, just drag it over, and then drop it right on your image. And then these ones are really great because they can be hazy in normal mode or lighten mode. I'll show you lighten. Um, there's that one, and if you turn it down, it gives you a nice hazy look. Um, I don't want that right now, though. I actually want it to be um, pretty bright and contrasty since this is a sun shot. So I'm going to put in overlay or soft light. Um, I think overlay for this photo and that's sullen. I think that's a little bit too strong so I am going to turn it down a lot and probably paint it off of her skin just a little bit so she's not too yellow. Let's see. Well, I actually like it with her skin there a little. I'm going to put another layer mask on this layer and paint with black over the little areas here that's red on her skin. Um, just take it off of there a little bit, make it react better with her skin tone and you can do this anywhere um, anywhere on the image that you think that it doesn't look as good as you'd like it to and then there's that so then I'm gonna put these three products in a group so you can see how they react all together um, to do the group I just clicked this file folder down here and now I'm just gonna hold down control to select all three of those layers and then click and drag them into the group um, and then you can see the difference. That's with the rainbow and the flare. Um, you can also turn this layer down, all three of these groups together. Um, you can turn down the opacity of that as well if you like it better, um, a little bit lower. You can turn them down all three at the same time. So that's how I use the Light and Tone collection. Um, I will probably do more tutorials on this in the future. Um, you can check them out at morganburks.bigcartel.com. Thank you for viewing. Have a good day.